the market maker model indicator in the ICT style Huvino, which is offered for various platforms on the Trading Finder site. From this section, you can access the indicator on the Trading View site. Additionally, traders can read this page to understand how the indicator works and operates. To access the indicator on the Trading View site, we search for the indicator's name in the indicator section. And by selecting the indicator, we execute it on the chart. For quicker and easier access, add the indicator to your favorites by enabling the Add to Favorite option. Once the indicator is executed on the chart, it begins to draw the market maker model on the price chart. The Smart Money Reversal Model is considered one of the most advanced uh, technical analysis tools, allowing traders to identify suitable points in the market. The Market Maker Model Indicator utilizes indices such as the SMTO Divergence, Sweep and ARP Timeframe Bolter, Policy EMS, and FVG enable traders to predict future price movements more accurately. Here, a higher time frame RPD has been identified for us. From the settings section, I change my second symbol to NASDAQ. Here, an SMT on between the Dow Jones and NASDAQ indices has been identified, where an SMT formed as the price moved upwards and reached the higher time frame RPD. And after that, the price moved downwards, bah, forming an MSS or market shift structure for us. After the price moved downwards, a FWG or fair value gap was formed. When the price returned to the FWG range, it failed to completely break through and move upwards in this me range. And after that, the price continued its ow downward movement. In the settings section, in the input section, there are options available for us. In the first part, you can select the time frame range of the higher time frame RPD, which by default is set to one hour here, and you can choose from the tick chart time frame up to a 12 month period. In the next section, you can select the RPD identification period, which is set to 50 by default, and you can increase or decrease this value which determines the number of candles for identifying key fluctuation points. In the next section, you can set the threshold for acceptable fluctuations based on volatility, which is set to 1 by default. In the following section, you can choose the maximum number method for swing identification, which is available in two modes, all and custom. By selecting the All option, it reviews and identifies all swings. In the next section, by choosing the Custom option, you can select how many candles to go back and review the swings. I set it to the All mode. In the following section, you can choose the second symbol for identifying SMT. In the next section, you can set the number of candles required for identifying the SMT fractal which is set to 4 by default. In the following section, you can choose the validity period of the FWG limit based on candles, which is set to 150 candles by default. In the next section, you can select the validity period for MSS, which is set to 150 candles by default, and you can increase or decrease these values. In the next section, you can Enable or disable the FVG filter. If you enable this option, four options will be available to you in the opposite section, where you can choose different FVG modes. You can choose from very aggressive, aggressive, defensive, and very defensive. If you select the very aggressive mode for identifying bullish FVGs, the maximum price of the last candle must be greater than the maximum price of the middle candle.